Hello, everyone. Welcome again to another episode of the Met Pep Talk. Now, in this episode, I'll be taking you through how to create a Hofmuller diagram. Now, basically, when we talk of Hofmuller diagrams, we are looking at diagrams that are used to plot the time evolution of atmospheric profiles. And these profiles tend to vary spatially. So they might vary either horizontally or vertically. Now, um, since there's a build up on the first series, I wouldn't um, go through all these again because that has been covered in the earlier episode. So I would link, I'll link up the URL of that video in the description box. Now, the only new thing we have in here is to import the CM package, which is from the Matplotlib library. So I have included that on line 18 to import the CM package. Now, the CM is used to change the color map that's for a contour plot for any various types of plots you do. It allows to change the um, color map. All right, so we are still using the same input file, which is the crew time series data set from um, climatic research unit, um, unit that's from University of East Anglia. And there's a net CDF data set. So we we'll stick to the same um, approach we used. So the first one, which is to open the data set and read it, um, its content into the variable data. So we use the XR open data set to read the content of info into the variable data. And then we select only the term variable as our data to use. Now, for today, we'll be looking at how to um, visualize this whole molar diagram over a select region. So in this case, the region I'm using will be more of the northern hemispheric part of Africa. That's from the equator northwards. And so we employ our data to use and then we select the longitude we need. So, so we have data to use dot cell and then the longitude, which is a range of longitudes, or it's a yeah, range of values. So we include the NP dot A range and then we start from negative 25, which is 25 degrees west to 50 degrees east in steps of 0 0.5. And then the latitude from the equator, which is zero to 40 degrees north in steps of 0 0.5. Like I said, the crew data set might not lie exactly on the 0.5s. And so it's best to include an interpolation method to be able to pick if it's not even lying on the point, its closest value. So we include the method nearest, and then we close our parentheses or the brackets, and that should select the data for us. So if I run this whole selection, Okay, so now if I have my NHA, so it tells us what data we have in there. There's a temp and then it's time components, the latitude and longitude. Now, um, as a quick visualization, we can just pick the NHA and then select just the first time of it and plot it to be sure we have picked the right region. Now, Python indexing starts from zero. So with zero, I mean the first, um, the first element of the first dimension, which in this case is the time. Okay, so at least we've covered a uh, bulk of North, Northern Hemispheric Africa. Okay. So we now move on to generating the Hofmuller diagram. So what we do is we pick the NHA, and then we group by, we group by, Time dot month, which is to create a monthly grouping, and then that would from there would create the um, climatology from it. Now, from here we can also find the mean along the dimension of time. Okay, and then after that we can now decide to also find the mean again along the dimension of longitude. Right, now this would, in the first case, create the monthly climatologies because of the time dot month grouping we've created, and then also average out the longitudes. So we'll be left with latitude against the um, time, which is in this case, monthly climatologies. Now, alternatively, we can also just attach the longitude to this, the first mean by including our time, the dimension, which is a dim, 
to be the time and then the longitude. And that's it. Now, when we are done, after this, we are done with the whole mula, so we can just plot and see what we have. So if I run this selection, that's it, it creates the whole mula. But then I would want the month to be on the x-axis and then the latitude on the y. So before I plot, I would have to bring in the dot capital T. Uh, this uppercase T or capital T, whenever it's applied to a data in Python, is to transpose the data set. So this will transpose the data and allow for a transpose plot. All right, and that's where, what we have over there. Now, with the plot, you can also um, make it plot.contour. Then that will just create ordinary you know, contour plots. All right. Now, if you want to fill the contour, we can just include our contour F, which is a filled contour. So we run that, and then we have the contours filled with the color bar on its right hand side. Okay, now, since we've imported the CM, we want to see how to use it. Now I need to indicate here C map, to indicate the color map, and then I just indicate what color map I want to use, let's say rainbow. And then I run it. That changes the color map into the color map I need. Now, if you need a whole list of color maps, I can just type the CM because I've imported it already. And then dot and I tab. And I have a whole list of color maps. That's different shades of colors I can use. All right. Now, what we are seeing in here just tells us that the temperature variations that along the various months from January all the way to December it almost has a behavior. It actually follows the apparent movement of the sun, which is a northward propagation all the way to somewhere um, June, July, and then we see it retreating or coming southwards again. And that's all for today's lesson. Thank you for your attention. And I hope you take it serious. You get to practice, get acquainted with the skill with Python programming and Hope to see you at the top. Be good, be great, have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe and let's keep learning. Thank you.